Hey, a pleasant good day everyone, this is Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a recap to the Philadelphia Flyers win over the Pittsburgh Penguins, and a preview to the game this evening. That's more like it, also what could have been, which would be the title of this video. If the Flyers could have played like this all season... Uh, I mean, what really, what could have been? That's the only question that needs to be asked. They could have been in the playoff spot. They could have still been um, where they were at. Yes, COVID did affect them and all that, but they should have been able to return to something like that. You just beat a very good Pittsburgh team like that after struggling since last month all the way now to the end of the season. So... It seems like it's something that should have been solved quicker, but the Flyers were able to get a win and have a very good win and spank the Penguins, like the great Jamie Baskow said, it's always a good night when you can spank the Penguins. They got an early goal by Kevin Hayes, of course, that Casey DeSmith made a very good effort to try to save, but he could not. That one ended up getting in a great slap shot from St. Gostas Bear there um, to score the second goal, which was his ninth of the season. He also has 10 assists on the year, having a good year for Gosha. Then Giroux scored his 15th, having a hell of a year, just not getting anyone else to come with him. Nobody else is doing enough around him, other than a guy that scored later that we'll get to in Joel Fairby. But that was a third goal on a snapshot on a fortuitous bounce where TK ended up banking it off of the net. Then Wade Allison scoring, doing what he does. He has that mighty mouse, that ridiculous strength wrist shot. And he, you saw that right there on that nice play by Scott Lawton uh, to make it 4 nothing. Then Crosby got a deflection on the nice play by Latang, And then Zucker at the end of the power play was able to score to make it 4-2 to two on the deflection until Fairby had that power move on Rust in front of the net. That was very nice. A nice play by Jake to chip it down the boards to Fairby there as well to be able to get the goal there. So a very good job by them. And then an empty net by Giroux as he yelled at Latang. Nice to see some spunk in G as he's able to get his second goal for 16 on the empty net. And then on a giving go from Joel Farabee to Robert Hag, Hag's able to snipe it in the top corner. So that recaps yesterday's game. The Flyers played very good, and Alex Lyon played amazing. Uh, he made 35 saves and 37 shots, did not get a lot of work early, and then all of a sudden it started opening up, and then Fairby just kind of put it away there with the 5-2 goal, Drew Weiss with the empty net goal, and then Robert Hag was able to get it done. Lyon had the save of the year, potential candidate there, diving back with the blocker. He got his sixth win of his young career against this Pittsburgh Penguins. I still believe this dude has a chance to be a quality, at least Alex Stalock, third string goaltender, if not a backup, if he's just given time. We saw it with Felix Sandstrom in the minors. He's not doing very consistent for the Phantoms because he's actually played. If you can play now, that hearts out for the rest of the year, unfortunately, but it could be a good blessing in disguise for a guy like Alex Lyon. If you can play him a bit, I could see him getting going the round of the season here because it's all about consistency with goalies. It's like pitchers in baseball. You can't pitch a relief pitcher one week and not pitch him for two weeks and expect him to do well again. That's been how this season's been for some of these goalies playing just because of how it is with COVID. So I think that's just the way it is. As for previewing tonight's game, I would assume since the Flyers won the game, I would have to envision they would go uh, with a similar lineup. Uh, Morin's been scratched. Kate's been scratched. I haven't really agreed with the Jackson case because I think he looked good when he was in. But, of course, uh, Kevin Hayes was able to score in that game when he's a guy that's looked off this year, hasn't been as productive, played better defensively against that. That's also a what could have been because if he played like that all season, was able to score, actually play well on the other end like he did last year, that would have been a big what could have been for this Flyers team as well. He's been a disappointment this year, but he came up big in yesterday's game. Hopefully he's able to do it again tonight. I would assume they would roll with the same lineup. I'm looking for Giroud to continue to round out his season hot as he's done, and I'm looking for T. K to start to try to get going. He got a lucky assist on the bank off of the net there to Giroux. I'm looking for him to round out this season. He has a lot of assists to round out this season. Um, not a lot, but he has a decent amount of assists actually still since March. But I would rather like to see him pot a few, get the confidence going uh, into next season for Travis Konechny. But when it comes to Couturier and Giroux, you just want to see them continue to round out the season. You want to see Fairby do what he did. And I would like to see JVR maybe get hot to round out the season too, because that would really help his trade value. But as for the projections for tonight's game, it's going to be a lot to ask for a Flyers team to obviously take two in a row and perform that well on back-to-backs against this team in Pittsburgh, who's right in the playoff race, one of the better teams this year outperformed a lot of people, including my own expectations. Um, yes, they still have some questions in net, but 
when it comes to tonight and not going in the playoffs, this Pittsburgh team is still one to be uh, obviously um, scared of and one you still got to go in and play like you did yesterday or play with a lot of spunk and fire in any way, shape, or form in order to beat them. It seems like the Flyers, for some reason, show up better in any season, no matter how trash they're playing against the Penguins, where they just can't pull that same energy for some reason against other rivals. So I look for this to be a very good game and very close game. Again, I would not be surprised just because of what I just said. The Flyers seem to always show up more. My good friend Zach, who used to write for Nitty Gritty, uh, brought that good point up when we were on PlayStation against Pittsburgh. They just tend to always play a better game no matter how their season's going. I would expect that again tonight. I wouldn't be surprised. I just predicted if they end up winning, I don't think it'll be a big score differential in this one. 4-2 to two, where one will be an empty netter. Um, Moose will be in for this game, I would have to presume, since uh, Lyon did end up making 35 saves on 37 shots. So got a good work in, I would assume, and then you could put him back in potentially for Friday's game against Washington, since there's a back-to-back -back there again, so he's going to play again soon, so I would assume Moose would be in this game, so protect Moose, play like you did yesterday, protect the goaltender, and have some nice wins to be able to kind of screw over um, Pittsburgh in the standings and push them down, um, and even maybe make them, which is a uh, a funny thing to see, make them have to play a better playoff opponent as a rival, kind of screw them over a bit. I never want to lose. I've never been someone that's always wanted to say lose to just straight up go for the a better draft pick because I feel like if you scout well enough, look how good Forster's doing. I said this in past videos of the 25th pick. Uh, look how good Lozinski did before his hip surgery as the 7th round pick. Uh, AV really talked him up and Cage just stepped in. I don't think he should be benched, but he is. Uh, he stepped in and has done well and then guys have come back, so it's kind of forced him out. I still feel like maybe over Knack, you should find a way to get him in the lineup, but that's not here nor there. Just play like you did yesterday. Round out this season good. You want to have good vibes and good momentum going into next season. You never want to finish a season on a complete stinker. The Flyers scouting has done pretty good since the Hextall era. Obviously not as, as squeaky clean consistently before that, but pretty good since the Hexy era. And then now they continue that with Fletcher since he uses the same system. Didn't really change it up much. Fair does a very good um, job there. So I think... That's just the way they need to go. They need to try to finish this season strong, and that continues tonight. Play strong in front of the goaltender. Have Kevin Hayes hopefully play the strong 200-foot game like he did yesterday that we haven't really seen all season. Have TK try to pot a few to finish it strong when it comes to scoring. And have Drew, Couturier, and those guys stay going. Have Provy finish it strong. Have Moose and Lyon both finish it strong since Hart's not going to be in. I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video slash preview to tonight's game. Let's go Flyers. Let's try to make it two in a row. Peace out, everybody.